How do you cut out shapes in Illustrator? Let's take a look at that in this Illustrator tutorial. So there's a couple different ways that you can cut out shapes, uh, a few different tools that you can use. First, if you already have a shape existing, like I just created this rectangle with the rectangle tool, I can do a couple things to this rectangle, rectangle to cut out shapes from it. Uh, there's a tool called the knife tool. So if I want to hand cut out something, I could use that. You'll probably see the eraser tool over here near our tool panel. If you click and hold, you'll see the knife tool. Now I have to have this rectangle selected, currently it is, and then I can actually draw whatever I want to cut. So if I wanted to cut out this custom corner, I could cut it out with that knife tool. Then I press the V key to switch to my selection tool, and I could select these different pieces separately and just kind of move them around. So I've cut out that piece from this. Uh, the other thing that you can do is use the shape builder tool or the pathfinder options. And what that does is every different shape is just a path. It's a closed path. So there's a path that goes around this and then curves around to here. And so you create other shapes, which are paths, and then you tell Illustrator to cut out one from the other. So for instance, if I wanted to cut out a circle from this corner down here, I would create a circle by clicking and holding on the rectangle tool and go to, going to the ellipse tool. And so then I can create a circle, I can hold shift to create a perfect circle, and then I've got these uh, two shapes out here. But remember, this shape is basically just a path, and so I can use that path to overlap onto my rectangle, and I can select both, and I have two options here. The first option is my Pathfinder window, which I can see in my Properties panel over here, and we can click to see more options. We have a few shape modes like Merge or Unite, which would actually merge those shapes together. We also have Minus Front, so that can create a cutout uh, of the shape that was in front. It'll cut out from the shape that's behind. So you can see the circle is on top, and it cut out that shape from the rectangle. Now I'm going to hit uh, Command Z to undo that, select them both again, and come over here and look again. We also have intersect. So when we click that, we actually cut out everything except for the intersection of the two shapes. We can undo that, make sure they're selected. And then we have exclude here, which will exclude the area that the two shapes overlap. So that's another way to cut out. So basically, are you cutting out the circle from the rectangle? Are you, you know, only keeping the center portion or are you just cutting out the center portion? There's a few different ways that you can do that with these Pathfinder options. Now, the other thing that you can use that I think is a little bit more intuitive here would be something called the Shape Builder tool. So I still need to select both. And then I come over here to my tool panel and I'll find this little tool that looks like two circles, uh, like a sideways snowman here. And that's called the Shape Builder tool and the shortcut key is Shift-M. Now, with the Shape Builder tool, you'll see when you have that tool selected and you hover over these different portions that you can actually see uh, the overlapping layers or the overlapping area of our shapes. And so if we hold the Option key on Mac, that's the Alt key on PC, we can actually select custom areas to trim off. So if I wanted to remove this center portion and cut that out, I can click it while holding Option or Alt, and it removes it out of there. Then I press the Selection tool, which is the V key, and I can move these shapes apart from each other, just like I did before. And we can undo and go back to where we had that uh, still overlapping, and we press Shift-M for that Shape Builder tool. The other thing we can do is hold Option or Alt and click and drag and we can drag through all the portions that we want to delete just like that. And so we've cut that shape out. And you can do this in the middle of shapes as well. So if we create a circle out here, uh, let's create a different color so that we can see it. Uh, oops, I didn't select a different color. Here we'll just... Of course, I'm changing the rectangle because I have it selected. So we'll click off. We will press the L key for the ellipse tool and then double click on the color, make it red, hit OK. And then we're going to create a red circle in the middle here. So these two are overlapping. Now I need to select them both. So I'll click my selection tool, click and drag, select them both. Shift M is that shortcut key for the Shape Builder tool. And hold Option or Alt and I can remove this interior piece. So I can cut out shapes like that. This is starting to look like a piece of cheese or something. So this is how we can trim out different shapes using the Pathfinder options 
the shape builder tool, or even the knife tool to cut out portions of our shapes here in Illustrator.